Hello and welcome. In our previous video, we had seen how to build this interface wherein we had the details for a category in a tabular format. And also we had provided the option wherein a user can search for a particular category based on the locator like this. In this video, we are going to learn how to create or raise an event on click of a button. That is now we are writing a hyphen one and when we tab out, it will show the result. But now we don't want that behavior. Instead, we will put a button on click of the button. It should display the records. Let's begin the lab. First of all, let me go to variables and in SDP, I'm going to remove this filter criteria, which I have added. Right click on this and click on delete. Done. Click on save. Now, if you go and refresh this page and if I provide some search locator, it won't reflect. Once we delete, now we will add a button over here. I am selecting this button and dropping over here. Let me give the name as search. Let me change the style of this and select a solid. I will select this search, click on this events. And if you scroll down, there is an option to create a new event. We have to click this new event, click on, on OJ action. Let me rename this search locator button action chain. On click of that, we need to update that SDP. For that, I am dropping the assign variable over here. Click on this assign, select our SDP and click on this filter criteria. Here we have to click on add condition. From here, I am selecting the locator and going to assign it to the search locator val which we created. The search locator val is a string type variable. In our previous video, we had seen when the user provides the data, on this search locator input text so it will be stored in the var same we are going to map it over here in the filter criteria on the click of this button that is based on action chain now i will preview these changes let me query for category or the products which are placed in a1 locator i am tabbing out nothing happened now let me click on this search button as you could see on click of the search button, it has raised an event and filtered our SDP. Now let me check for R1, click on search, yeah, it is reflecting, let me remove everything and click on search, yeah, we are getting all the details. Like this, we can raise or create an event on click of a button in Visual Builder. In our next video, we will learn how to create similar UI that is displaying the product for a category in the tabular format with the help of ADP. In this, we had made use of SDP variable, okay, that is list sdp category please do like this video and subscribe our channel and thank you for joining us in this video